Welcome back to the 30 Days of Lightroom tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna be talking about our Presence tab over here on the right, which consists of texture, clarity, and dehaze. And I see a lot of people overuse or misuse this little tab. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what situations you can use these for and what situations you should definitely avoid using texture clarity and dehaze. So let's jump right into this tutorial. So we've already done our basic toning for this image. We can see it was a long exposure. This was a fire bending photo shoot I did last summer. I really love the way it turned out. So as I've stated in previous videos, I like to work top to bottom. We've done our basic toning, all of our white balance to make this look proper. And now we will work our way down to presence. And let's start with texture and see exactly what it does and talk a little bit about when we should use texture. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna zoom in to our image so we can really see what this does. We will turn our texture all the way up. You can see how it's starting to affect the stars, the very minor details in the rocks, and we will turn it all the way down. We can see it really flattens out, kind of gives our image a glowy look, a little bit of glow between the orange and the blue. And we lose a lot of the detail here in our flames. So what exactly does texture do? Texture really brings out or decreases the very, very tiny details in your image. If you take a look at the stars as we turn that up, it will also increase the noise. So if you have a very noisy image and you don't want it to be noisy, you can turn your texture down just a little bit and it works very similarly to noise removal or to sharpening. It works on those very, very tiny details. Now a little trick you can use when you're working with portraits and you want to do some basic retouching, you can turn down the texture on your portraits just a little bit and it will get rid of some of the imperfections in the face or the skin. You can kind of see it does that to the rock here. We can smooth out the rock or we can really over sharpen the rock. And texture is pretty good if you work within this kind of negative 50 plus 50 range here. But again, it will bring out noise in a noisy image, kind of like this one. But we can see here it is bringing out some of the stars in the sky, which is kind of cool because some of the stars are so small, they're basically noise. So we'll turn texture down back to zero, double click it to reset it. And let's talk a little bit about clarity. Clarity is something that has really always been around in Lightroom. Texture and dehaze are a little bit new, but clarity is in basically every version of Lightroom. Let's turn clarity all the way up, see what that does. It works on some of the bigger details, adds some of that mid-tone contrast. Look and pay attention here. Let's go over these rocks. Pay attention what it's doing to the saturation as well. It's kind of clipping our oranges here. That doesn't look very good. It's turning up the highlights you can see in the oranges. Again, clipping those highlights. Same thing with our flames. We are adding some contrast in here, but you have to be very careful with clarity. If we turn clarity down all the way, we completely lose that mid-tone contrast. We lose our highlights. Got some weird things going on here. Our sky is just mush. And turning clarity to negative 100, turns your image to mush. I never really recommend turning clarity down very much. Yeah, somewhere around there looks okay. Somewhere around here looks okay for contrast. But again, 100 does not look good and negative 100 does not look good. Be very careful and be very conservative with your clarity slider, especially when you're working with portraits. There's never a time when you need to be cranking the clarity on a portrait or turning it down to negative. I see a lot of brand new photographers that like to skip retouching their portraits and they go ahead and they turn their clarity all the way down and it looks like mushy trash. Your portraits will look like mushy trash if you turn down the clarity. So when it comes to portraits, do not touch clarity. That is a time to not touch it. Absolutely touch clarity when you're working with images kind of like this, night sky, landscape. You really want to bring out those textures and that mid-tone contrast, great, use clarity, but be very careful with it. So let's double click and reset clarity. Next, we have dehaze, which is a fairly new tool in Lightroom. Let's turn that up and down, kind of see what it does, and let's talk about it a little bit. So turning up dehaze, you can see it warms up our image. It warms up both our sky and our rocks here and adds a little bit of contrast, adds some warmth, darkens up. Some of these warm tones darkens up the sky. That actually doesn't look too bad. I kind of like the way that looks. Let's turn dehaze down. We can see here it's adding some 
haze and some fuzz. It's doing some funky things with the shadows. Be careful if you are turning your dehaze down, it will do some funky things with the shadows. Now dehaze is great to add just a little glow to your image. You can see add a touch of glow as we turn it down or we add some warmth and some contrast. Dehaze is a fun tool. I like to play with it on portraits. I like to play with it in all sorts of places. You can add a little bit of glow to the warm tones in your skin or you can add a little contrast if your portrait or landscape is looking a little flat, but dehaze does exactly what it says it does. It will remove haze from your images. If you turn dehaze down, it will do the exact opposite and essentially add a hazy look to your photos. So the dehaze slider is a little more of an artistic slider and in images where you don't necessarily have haze, you can play with it just a little bit and kind of get some neat effects. So I might actually turn that up just a touch. That looks really cool and I actually like this image just like that. So that is our presence tab. Be very careful with the presence tab. Be careful with your textures. When you turn those up, be careful with clarity, whether you're turning that up or down and also pay attention to dehaze. What I really want you to take away is a little bit goes a long way, just like with our tone curve, just like with our basic toning. That is a lesson that most pros take years and years to learn. And you'll see that's why a lot of amateur photographers over edit their images. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up, share this video with a friend, and of course, subscribe so you're seeing all of my 30 days of Lightroom tutorial series. And until next time, get out and go shoot.